Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. In today's video I'll be reviewing St Kilda's round one game against North Melbourne. Unfortunately uh, the Saints went down by two points at Marvel Stadium on Sunday. It was a good game in part. We played well for a half and after that I don't know what happened. It's probably one of the most disappointed I've been as a St Kilda fan to start the season. You know there were good signs you know and um, we'll get into them soon enough but to just completely flip the script on what happened in the second half from the first half it's just you know it just wasn't good enough now i know that obviously this video comes in light of the afl season being postponed until may 31 i completely get that but i thought the games happened and i said that i'd review it so i would now as i just said the season is postponed until may 31 at least that will be reviewed upon when that time comes so these videos will stop but i will still be producing afl content so make sure to look out for that and you know keep supporting your afl content creators because you know they will they will and or we will struggle through this time but hopefully we can get through it together and in may when everything hopefully goes back to somewhat normality uh, we'll all be better off for it now, unfortunately, as I said, we did go down by two points to North Melbourne. Uh, they scored 8-8-56, and we scored 7-12-54. Now, our inaccuracy did prove us no favours. Again, seems like nothing has changed. Look, we started off well. I'm not going to lie. We started off really well. We kicked the first two of the game, and we were looking really good. They hit back, and then Billings scored a somewhat lucky goal in in the final minute and a bit of the quarter, which was really good. It was lifting. We're up by a couple of goals at, at quarter time. Shorter quarters, is that enough? You know, you just never know. But unfortunately, we weren't able to hold it off long enough. Some positives to take out of the first quarter. You know, Max King got his first goal, and that was awesome. It was really team lifting. Brad Hill was proving himself to be an elite mover of the ball, which was good. Zach Jones made a positive start. Dylan Roberton got his hands on the ball early. You know, there were some very positive things to come out of the first quarter. And it did continue into the second quarter. You know, we had them on the back foot. We were we had them on the ropes. We were just throwing haymakers and they were hitting. And everything was starting to click together for us. I thought that we were able to run away with it. And I said in my prediction that I was happy just to get past North Melbourne. But, you know, during the second quarter, I thought we were going to win by six goals or more. You know, that's sort of the, the thing that was happening. But unfortunately, as it goes, we just couldn't hold on after half time. Ben Long come back from an injury that I don't think many thought he would. Uh, he landed really awkwardly on his foot and it looked really, really nasty. Thought it could have had a broken ankle or a broken foot or a broken metatarsal or something. Something surely was broken in that fall. Obviously, they lost Josh Walker to a sickening concussion, which was just not good to watch at all. Uh, got a little bit tunnelled by memory, but, you know, it was completely accidental and he landed on his on the back of his neck. Not much you can do there. It was his own body weight that, that put him down. But, you know, um, best wishes to him. Zebel went down. Ahern went down. You know, they had injuries galore. We had Gresham. Gresham was out after half time with a minor PCL strain. Uh, definitely not going to risk him, but I think we probably should have now, knowing that the season was going to go to uh to what it did but yeah we, the we all the cards were in place after half time we just couldn't hold on after half time we completely flipped the script we just fell asleep we stopped our tackle pressure we stopped our forward 50 pressure we stopped our midfield weren't weren't winning as many clearances as they were our back line just stopped they were slow they looked a bit sloppy and it was just not good to watch they kicked five in a row and we went from having a 30-point lead to a four-point lead at three-quarter time. It was disgusting to watch. I just I could not believe what I was watching. It was like we just replaced our somewhat good, our really clean, classy, poised, possessed possession game that we had, and we replaced them with the Oz Kickers at half time. You know that's blunt, I know, but that's what it was like, and it was just so sad to watch. You know, all the hope I had was was gone. Now that's very mortal, and look, that hope will return, but. If we were going to make finals by any stretch of the imagination this year, we needed to put North Melbourne away. Yeah, our midfield was still working, but we couldn't get it forward. You know, they played well. Granted, they played really well, and, and we did not deserve to win after that second half. But, you know, after that first half, they didn't deserve to win either. But you've got to play four quarters of footy to get the four points. 
So yeah, at three quarter time, I was hoping that we were gonna get a spray. I was hoping that Brett Ratton was gonna be spitting fire, you know, taking names, digging holes for souls. You know, I thought he was gonna give us a raz up or something, we needed something. Unfortunately, it wasn't to be. A very contested last quarter saw North Melbourne run out two point winners, uh, some pretentious free kicks that didn't go our way. Oh, just what do you do? Like, you can't say anything. One goal five after half time is never, ever going to be good enough. Never. And it's inexcusable at this level, you know. Gresham out doesn't help, all right? I understand that. But they had one person on the bench for a half. You know, they were running with one rotation on the bench, you know. Like, it was on a plate, you know. It was on a plate for us to win. Uh, Max King kicked two goals, which was really promising. Brad Hill... Although he didn't have a lot of the ball, he made some really good decisions, you know, and I think Jason Dunstall said it best in the commentary boxes that when Brad Hill has the ball in the centre square, as a forward, you're leading. You want him to kick it to you, you know. He wants you to be leading. He doesn't want to kick it to the top of the square. He wants to lower his eyes and find an option inside 50, and that's going to be really promising. Dylan Robertson made a slow return, but it was a good return. You know, he's out on the, out on the field. He's got game time. Unfortunately, it wasn't his best game, but you can't really expect that in round one. Same with Max King, you know, he was definitely managed, which is all right, but he still kicked two goals and he had some good attack on the footy. I didn't realise how quick he was for a very, very tall man. You know, his th second and third efforts were really, really good. They were promising, you know, he wanted the ball. Zach Jones as well made some really good decisions. Hanabry floated everywhere, you know, he was he was useful. Jack Steele had some really good tackle pressure. Luke Dunstan played a blinder. Jack Billings was everywhere. Ben Long played some really good footy. And if he wasn't injured, yeah, he could have been a really good turning point for us in that game. But I think he was still under a bit of a cloud in that second half. Now, as I said, unfortunately, we did go down. And unfortunately, the footy will not be back until the end of May at least. But look, that's that's... You know, the state of the game. We've all got AFL Evolution 2 to play in a couple of weeks when that comes out. So I'll definitely be playing some of that and putting it on YouTube, which will be some fun. But yeah, not much you can do, really. It's disappointing. Full strength squad just about. I didn't realise that Carlisle was missing, but I don't know how much difference he would have made. Got a while now to get our round two preparations signed, sealed and delivered. And hopefully we can bounce back against the Eagles at Marvel Stadium or wherever it's played, the fixture may be completely revamped when we come back at the end of May. So look, unfortunately, this, this series does take a bit of a backwards turn and a backwards seat at the moment, but I can't do much with it. You can't do much with it. Hope you enjoyed. If you are new, please give us a like and a subscribe. Um, take care, stay safe, all of that good stuff about coronavirus and whatever, you know, take care of each other and I will see you next time. So thanks for watching again and goodbye.